Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Photoshop patterns inside Illustrator. There are a lot of places on the web where you can find free and forfait pattern files that open and can be used inside Photoshop. Now, I've found a series of them here on a blog post. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and downloaded this set called Grandma's Flowers. Now the thing about these patterns is that they're bitmaps and we're going to take these bitmap patterns from Photoshop and we're going to use them inside Illustrator. And the reason we would want to do those is that these are going to be really hard to create as vectors. But if we just want to fill shapes with them in Illustrator, we can do so, just provided we're happy that they're a bitmap fill. I've gone ahead already and downloaded Grandma's Flowers. And here is the folder. This is the zip file that I downloaded. And what I'm interested in is this one, the PAT file. And I've just double clicked it and that has opened it and installed those patterns inside Photoshop. Now I've also created a brand new file here in Photoshop and it doesn't matter how big this is because the only reason why we've got a file here is that so we can go and see how big our pattern is. We wouldn't be able to get to this fill option if we didn't have a file open. So just open anything and then choose edit and then fill. From the contents drop down list you want to select pattern. And then from the custom pattern drop down list you want to open this up. And your new set of install patterns is going to be here. Now the one I'm interested in is the last of these. This is pattern number four and what I'm interested in here is just to read off the size of the pattern. So I'm going to hover my mouse over it until Photoshop tells me the pattern size. This is 104 by 230 and it's an RGB pattern. I just need that information. I'm going to click cancel. Now I'm going to choose file and then new and I'm going to create a file exactly the size that I was told that that pattern is, 104 by 230 pixels. I'm going to create this as an RGB image and I'm going to create a transparent fill and click OK. Here is the image that I can now fill with my pattern piece. I'm going to choose Edit and then Fill. I'm going to the last pattern here, which is the pattern I want to take to Illustrator. I'm going to click here and click OK. And this is my pattern. Now I'm ready to go to Illustrator. So I'm going to choose Select All, Edit, Copy. I'm going to temporarily close down Photoshop and I'm going to open up Illustrator. And here I have Illustrator open. I'm going to create a new file, so I'm going to choose File and then New. Again, it doesn't really matter how big my Illustrator file is, so I'm just going to create any old file. It doesn't really matter, but I do want this to be RGB, so I'll just click OK. Now what I'm interested in is just pasting in the pattern that I have on the clipboard, so I'm going to choose Edit and then Paste. And here is my pattern piece. It's come from Photoshop into Illustrator and it is a seamless repeating pattern piece. So what I need to do now is to go and get my swatches palette, which is here. I need to make sure that I'm viewing all my swatches, so make sure that you click here and choose Show All Swatches. And what I'm going to do is grab this swatch piece and just drop it into my swatches. That's all I need to do. And now I can delete it from my workspace here because I don't need it any longer. And then we're going to see how this works inside Illustrator. So I'm just going to create a rectangle. Doesn't matter how big my rectangle is. And I'm going to fill it with my pattern. So I'm going to click to make sure that the fill is the selected option here. And I'm just simply going to click on my pattern piece. And Illustrator has now filled this rectangle with the pattern swatch, the bitmap image swatch that we bought from Photoshop and it's tiled automatically for us. And this is going to work exactly the same way as any Illustrator pattern. So if I choose Object, Transform and then choose Scale, and if I set this to only transform the patterns and I want this pattern to be smaller, I'm going to set it to 50% and click Preview. 
and you can see that the pattern is scaling. So it's scaling exactly as we would expect any regular pattern to scale inside Illustrator. And we can also rotate it. So I'm going to choose Object, Transform, Rotate. I'm going to turn Preview on and I'm just going to make sure that I'm rotating the pattern. And when I do this, you can see that the pattern is rotating. So there's a very quick and very easy way to bring patterns from PAT files that you have inside Photoshop and be able to use them inside Illustrator. So I'd like to thank the viewer from my YouTube channel who posed the question to me and kept insisting that there must be a simple answer to it. So there you are, there's your answer. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.